In today's video, we're going to cover how you can use a table of values to plot a straight line on a graph. For example, if we had the equation y equals minus a half x plus 4, we could make a table with some random x values on the top row, and then use the equation to find out what the corresponding y value would be for each of these x values. This would give us a set of coordinates that we know would be along the line. So all we'd have to do is join these points up, and that would give us our graph. To see exactly how we do this, let's start with this question here, where we need to draw the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. The first thing we need to do is make a table with x values in the first row and y values in the second. Next, you need to choose some x values and it's kind of up to you which ones you pick. But you want to pick some easy ones that appear on the graph that you're given. For example, we wouldn't want to pick anything bigger than 8 or smaller than minus 3 here because those coordinates wouldn't fit on our graph. I'd say that it's normally best to go for something like minus 2, 0 and 2. And once you pick them, you need to figure out what the y value would be in each case. So for this first one, where we're saying that x is minus 2, we need to plug minus 2 into the equation for our line. So we get y equals 2 times minus 2 plus 3, which simplifies to y equals minus 4 plus 3, so y equals minus 1. So we put minus 1 into our table beneath the minus 2. And then we do the same thing for when x is 0, so 2 times 0 plus 3 which is 0 plus 3, so just 3. And the same again for when x is 2, so 2 times 2 plus 3, which is 4 plus 3, giving us y equals 7. So now that we've completed our table, we effectively have three sets of coordinates. Minus 2 minus 1, which is down here, 0, 3, which is here, and 2, 7 up here. So all we have to do is join them up, and we've now drawn the line of y equals 2x plus 3. Let's try one more. Draw the graph for y plus 1 half x equals 4 for the values of x from negative 4 to positive 6. Now, this question here is a little bit different to the last one because for 1, we're not given the equation in the form of y equals mx plus c which is the form that we see it in most often. And secondly, we're told to only draw the graph from when x is negative 4 to when x is positive 6. So only in this region of the graph. Regardless though, neither of these things really make any much difference to how we do the question. So we still start by drawing out our table. But we just need to make sure that our x values are within the negative 4 to positive 6 range, which they will be if we use minus 2, 0 and 2 again. Then like before, we need to plug each of these x values into our equation to find out the corresponding y values. If you wanted, you could just plug them straight into the equation as it is at the moment. You would still find the correct y values. But it will probably be easier if we rearrange the equation into the form of y equals mx plus c first. And all we'd have to do for that is subtract 1 half x from each side to get y equals minus 1 half x plus 4. So if we plug in x as minus 2, we get y equals minus 1 half times minus 2 plus 4, which is y equals 1 plus 4, so y equals 5 which gives us the coordinate minus 2, 5. Then if we plug in x equals 0, we get y equals minus a half times 0 plus 4, so just y equals 4, which gives us the coordinate 0, 4. And finally, if we plug in x equals 2, we get y equals minus a half times 2 plus 4, which is y equals minus 1 plus 4, and so y equals 3, giving us the coordinate 2, 3. And now that we know the coordinates of our three points, we can plot them all on the graph. 
So minus 2, 5 will be over here. 0, 4 in the middle here. And 2, 3 will be over here. And then all that's left is to join them all up with a straight line and make sure our line extends all the way back to x equals minus 4 and all the way forward to 6 because that's what they asked for in the question. And to finish, we just need to label our line. So we put y plus 1 half x equals 4 next to it somewhere. One last thing I want to add before we finish is that to draw a straight line, you only really need to know two pairs of coordinates. Because if you know two points, then you can join them up to get the straight line. However, we normally try to find three points instead, just in case one of them is wrong. For example, if we had these three points, there's no way that we could draw a single straight line that goes through all of them. So we'd know that we must have made a mistake somewhere, and one of our y values must be incorrect. If this ever happens to you though, it's not really an issue. You just need to go back to your table and recalculate your y values so that you can find out which one was incorrect. Anyways, that's everything for this video. So hope that all made sense. If you enjoyed it, then do give us a like and subscribe. And cheers for watching.